am back with Ramon Andrews. He's a Turks and Caicos Director of Tourism. Ramon, thank you so very much for being with us today. It's such a pleasure to be here. First of all, let's, let's just talk about the recovery because that's what everyone wants to know. The Turks and Caicos is an amazing destination. I know it well, but I know maybe some of our viewers don't. So tell me a bit about the geography of the islands. Where are you? How many islands are there? And which islands are the main tourist islands? Okay. Well, again, if I go into the north northwest of things, it'll be hard to, hard to explain. But we're an hour and 20 minutes out of uh, Miami International Airport, and we're two hours out of uh, uh, JFK out of New York, which gets you smack into the destination. Uh, and we're just down off of the Bahamas chains. So we have at the Bahamas chain stop, the Turks and Caicos chain begin. And we are, consist of 40 islands and keys, H, I'm sorry, H, eight of which are inhabited, and Providenciales, which is the main tourist hub, is actually open and up and running. And Providenciales, you often, often hear referred to as Provo, Pro, but yes. we don't need, we, it's a lot warmer than Provo, Utah. We mean <laughs> Provo, Turks and Caicos yes. Islands. Yes. So tell us a bit about the damage. How did you guys fare during the storm? Oh, we, we fared quite well. Uh, we actually, the island is actually up and running and open. Uh, the seven stars never close. We have tours that are actually on the island right now. Our restaurant, shop, tour operator, everything is open. As we speak, uh, the Hartling Group, which is consists of the, the Sands, the Palms, uh, and the Shore Club, they're actually opening up their product today. So, and, and as far as the recovery, of course, persons are in the community, they're assisting, they're helping out and getting things back together. But from, if you get on the ground right now, you'll see that Turks and Caicos is open and ready for business. And I think it's important to note that um, a lot of these hotels were closed for the off season, correct? When, they, when yes, the hurricane yes. passed through. Normally this time of year, it's, so, it's sort of our off season because it's a bit warmer everywhere else, right? Uh, so we were closed, we are taking on renovations and the hurricane came. So really and truly, we would be really reopening at the end of September, mid-October. So truth be told, we're right on schedule. You're right on track, yes. not on Caribbean time. <laughs> Um, so tell me about the current conditions there on Providenciales, for example. What can people expect when they go? How have you? How's the cleanup been going? Well, the, the cleanup has been going uh, very well, uh, very robust. Uh, the power company actually flew in over 300 workers just to get the power up and running really, really quickly. Uh, the stores are open. Uh, the nonprofit organization, everyone is committed. They're getting into these communities. They're cleaning up. Now you get on the ground. It's, it's, there's no devastation, but of course, if you drive around, you'll see maybe some shingles here, some shingles there. Say that, hey, a storm had passed through. Understand but, it. Yes, but as it relates to devastation, there's no signs of that, and the country is open and ready for business. All right. So tell me about what I'm sure uh, Turks and Caicos lovers are wondering about. Tell me about Grace Bay Beach. Grace Bay Beach is the Turks ah. and Caicos Islands marquee beach. It's 12 miles long. How is that look? I'll tell you this, I was in there swimming yesterday. Yes! Gorgeous, untouched, unsw there's actually more of a beach now. There's actually more of a beach in Grace Bay, and there's more of a beach in Blue Hills, which is just down from Grace Bay. So the storm actually brought more sand. Oh, so fabulous. it's, it's, it's more beach. really fortunate, isn't it? But Grace Bay Beach and everything else is intact. Fabulous. And let's talk a bit about cruising. I know that Grand Turk, yes. one of your islands, is a huge cruise port. Yes. Tell me how that fared and when people can ex what people can expect when they go there. Well, Grand Turk was a little bit closer to the storm, but they fared well. Again, the cruise port, uh, which is responsible for bringing the most of the tours into Turks and Caicos, they're going to be ready in November. Oh. Oh, yeah. They're going to be up and running and ready to go. And the entire community of Grand Turk has pooled together to really get that, that island up and running. It's only seven by two miles, which is great. Uh, and the cruise boat is going to be dumping a lot of cash in there to make sure that things get along quickly. Fabulous. Yes. So I think the key message here, really, yes. um, not to steal your thunder, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it seems to me like the Turks and Caicos is open for business and ready to welcome people. Definitely open for business and ready to welcome you. You get into Turks and Caicos, your tourist dollars is going to be put towards the recovery, and we are ready to take care and serve you. So, I would like to say, you know, so many people have reached out and said, we love the Caribbean, how do we support it? Absolutely, support the Caribbean by giving money if you can, but more importantly, please go. Yes. Go and keep going. So stop listening to us. We're very happy to have had Ramon yes. from the Turks and Caicos here, but stop listening for, to us, log off and log on, book a ticket and get down there, get on the beach. Right? Yes, Turks and Caicos is ready to welcome you. TCI strong, Caribbean strong. We'll see you soon. Bye.